Okay, so hi there everybody. So in this video, we're going to talk about more on science, technology, and society. That is one of my playlists and the courses here. And in this video, we're going to talk about the good life. Okay, so what we're going to talk about here um, in this uh, batch of videos, actually, I will create two videos for this. So we're going to talk about what is the good life as perceived by different schools of thoughts. Okay, so what we're going to do is to discuss the school of thought that has been um, created or was established by Aristotle and the good life of Aristotle. We will go in, we're going to talk about materialism, also about hedonism, okay, and stoicism, okay, theism, and then humanism. In this um, video for now, this is, this is the first part, we're going to talk about Aristotle and the good life, materialism, and hedonism. The next parts will be that stoicism theism and humanism will be preserved for the next video or reserved okay so let's start off with our aristotle and the good life so aristotle and the good life it is interesting to note that the first philosopher okay who approached problem from the reality okay a problem of reality from scientific lens is aristotle who is known for as the first thinker who dabbed into the complex problem is the problematization of the end goal of life okay so he uh more or so talked about happiness okay so you can remember in our previous videos we talked about his eudaimonia and the Nicoman nicomanian ethics okay so that is created by nicomachus so as you can see um he is the one who first dabbed the or the dab the complex problematization of the end goal of life that is happiness compared to his predecessor and teacher plato Aristotle embarked on different approaches in figuring out reality. Plato thought that things in this world are not real and are only copies of the real in the world's forms. So that's for the perspective of Plato. While Aristotle puts everything back in the ground and claiming that the world, or this world rather, is all there and that this world is the only reality we can all access. Okay, so that is the standing point or the, the ground of Aristotle. That is, this world is all that there is. Okay, furthermore, Aristotle forwarded the idea that there is no reality over and above what the senses can perceive. So meaning we must be all realists, okay, shall we say, for Aristotle. As such, it is only by observation of the external world that one can truly understand what reality is all about. Again, observation of the external world. Now, also for Aristotle, change is a process that is inherited in things we along with all other entities in the world start as potentialities and move towards actualities the movement of course entails change so to give you one analogy about it so for example look at this plant over here so it eventually germinates and grows into a plant so it will start as a seed and then it will germinate and then turn into plant the seed that turned to become the plant underwent change a change from the potential plant that is the seed rather the seed to its full actuality okay so that's what Aristotle is talking about so we should start and then we change and then we will discover our full actuality this can be likened to Aristotle to what Aristotle says that every human person aspires for an end okay, for an end for an end product this end is happiness or human flourishing and we have talked about this a lot in details from their previous videos. Okay. And one resists, and no one rather, no one resists happiness. Okay. Because all we want is to be happy. All we want is to be happy. So that is what Aristotle and the good life is telling us. Okay. As far as Aristotelian um, happiness is concerned and the, how, they, how they perceive what a good life is. Okay. So that's for Aristotle. Next part is we're going to talk about materialism. So the first materialists were the atomists, okay, in ancient Greece. They were Democritus and Leucippus. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. They led a school whose primary belief is that the world is made up of and is controlled by tiny indivisible units of the world called atomos or seeds. That is, this is also the word where the word atom came from actually so atomus according to the world according accordingly the world including human beings is made up of matter 
and there is no need to possess immaterial entities as a, a sources of purpose. So for them, that this is the things that they believe, atoms simply comes together randomly to form the things in the world. As such, only material entities matter. Okay, that's the, the mantra for materialism, only material entities matter. Okay, so in terms of human flourishing, for the materialism uh, point of view, matter is what makes us um, makes us attain happiness. So material things we possess give us ultimate happiness. Well, for them, we see this at work with most people who are clinging on to material wealth as the primary source of meaning of their existence. So like for this, for this instance, for this uh, picture here, okay, when he buys a lot of things, when she buys a lot of things, she is happy and that's what materialism is all about. The material things we possess give us the ultimate happiness that we're looking for. Okay, so that's as far as materialism goes. Let's go on to our last part in this video. And that is hedonism. Okay, so what is hedonism um, from this picture over here? Okay, so for hedonists, the end goal of life is acquiring pleasure. Okay, so um, partying, drinking, and such. Pleasure has always been the priority of hedonists. For them, life is obtaining and indulging in pleasure because life is limited. They believe that pleasure gives meaning to their life without thinking of the future. The mantra for this school of thought is the famous eat, drink, and marry, for tomorrow we will die. Okay, so that's it, pleasure, um, being happy all the time, okay, uh, because they say that life is limited. So that's for hedonist's point of view, the end goal of life is acquiring it. Acquiring it. Okay, so just like in this picture, um, drinking, drinking, and such. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's it for this video. What we have finished here is we have talked about, as a, as a wrap-up, Aristotle and the good life. We have talked about that. We've talked about materialism, okay? To possess the full happiness is about the the material things. And hedonism, um, happiness, supreme happiness came from pleasures. Okay? And that's it for this video. Um, the three here below, will be t we will talk about them um, in a later one. So don't forget to like and subscribe this video so that you will see the next video <laughs> after this. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Okay, bye!